Today I would like to read from the book of Matthew 24, starting with um, uh, 13, 24. The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sold good seeds in his field. But while everyone was sleeping, his enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed heads, then the wheat also appeared. The owner's servants came to him and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the, seed, the weeds come from? An enemy did this, he replied. The servants asked him, do you want us to go and pull them out? No, he answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. And then it was um, told, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in his field. Through it, it is the smallest of all seeds, yet when it grows, it is the largest of garden plants and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and perch in its branches. He told them still another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed into a large amount of flour until it worked all through the dough. This is how trouble starts because sometimes we are off God and we don't realize when these uh, weeds come crawling in into the good soil, into the good garden. So we must be prepared and we must continue to read the word and how to put on the full armor of God to prevent from these things happening. And again, the, the, the um, parable of the weeds explained. He said, the one who sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world and the good seed stands for the sons of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age and the harvesters are angels. As the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The son of man will send out his angels and they will weed out his kingdom, everything that causes sin and all who is do evil. They will throw them into the fairy furnace where they will be weeping and gushing of the teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He will have ears to hear. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your warning. Thank you for keeping us holy and keeping us alert. And we pray this in Yeshua's name. Amen.